Tiffany Quinn here. Today we are going to be doing a 15 minute abs and hourglass waistline routine. So I will be showing you the best ways to tone and strengthen those abs for that thinner waistline. So the first thing we're going to do is come down to the mat. And I want you, when you come down, to plant those heels into the mat. You're going to bring your palms out towards the side and you're going to suck your belly button in towards the spine so that your back is flat against the mat. Now you're going to tilt your pelvic bones forward, so really crunching those abs, making sure, making sure everything is nice and tight. And we're going to lift one leg at a time into the air into a 90 degree angle. So now we're going to extend one leg, let's start on the left, and the first exercise we're doing is bringing that leg down and back up. So are you ready to start our workout? Let's get started in three, two, one. So squeezing those abs nice and tight, relax those shoulders down to the ground, release any tension that you have in your jaw, and I want you to focus really hard on the muscle we're trying to work right now. So if your back is arching at all, what I want you to do is not bring your leg down as low. So any kind of arching in the back, bring that leg up a little bit higher, and then to make this even easier, if you're still struggling with this, you're gonna bring your knee in closer towards the chest. So that is going to make this easier for you to keep that back on the mat. I want it glued to the mat this entire routine. We're really, really gonna focus on that. Now, if you do wanna make this a little bit harder, you're gonna bring that knee out just a little bit further, still relaxing those shoulders down. I know we tend to tense things up, I have to remind myself as well. So we've got rest right now. You can either keep your leg up like this or relax those legs down, but the next exercise we're gonna do is bring that leg as low as you can without your back arching off the ground, and we are just gonna pulse it out. So in five, four, three, two, one. So nice small pulses, relax those feet, relax that head, sucking that core in, they should already be trembling. So right now we are working and focusing on that lower ab area. Now for this exercise, if you do wanna make this more challenging for yourself, you are going to bring your hands behind your head and you're going to lift up through the abs, really squeezing those abs, squeezing that core in. So now not only are we working the lower ab area, but we're also working this top ab area here. So when you're lifting up, you're using, engaging the top part of your abs. You feel it, right? Okay, so we are gonna do the other side. We've got another 10 seconds here. Just rep it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You can bring that leg down. So shake it out. We're gonna get ready on that other side. Let's bring those palms back down towards the side. Just get the motion started. Bring those legs up into the air. Extend that right leg. And in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Bring that leg down and back up. Again, really squeezing those abs. Suck them in, guys. Suck them in. They should be trembling. And again, to make this easier, just bring that knee in a little bit closer, a little bit harder. You're going to extend it out. Perfect. Good job. Pointing those toes. It looks pretty. Just make sure to smile. If it hurts, then just keep on pushing through because the challenging exercises and the ones that we're like, okay, I really don't want to do this, those are the ones you're going to get results from. So I want you to just focus now on why you're here as well as focus on the muscle that you're working, which is that lower ab area. So just keep extending down and back up. Perfect. You feel it. I know. Feel those abs right now. They're trembling, right? They're already on fire. But guess what? We've got 15 minutes, so we're really going to feel those abs set on fire today. So now for the rest, you can either relax or you can hold that leg down at a 45 degree angle. Basically, I want you to bring it down as far as you can without that back arching once again. So let's get started with those pulses in three, two, one, tuck those hips underneath and pulse it out. Now again, if you want to make this more challenging and you're someone that's been following me for a while because I know you already have strong abs then, you're going to lift up through the abs, squeezing, squeezing everything really tight and we're going to catch a break right after this exercise. Now, what I want you to do is point those toes so that you get a lot of tension in that lower ab area and try to lift that chest up just a little bit higher. Good job. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. I know we forget to breathe, which I did earlier today, actually. I noticed when you're in pain, you kind of do a back. And then you stop breathing because I stepped on one of my heavier weights and oh my gosh, did it hurt. And the moment I hit it with my toe, I just sucked in my breath and I wasn't breathing. So I had to remember to breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, give me three, two, one. One end, bring that knee in, relax those feet down to the ground. So the next exercise we're gonna do, again, bring those palms out towards the side, let's face them up towards the ceiling. You're gonna point those toes up towards your ceiling, bring them out, outward circles. So we're just gonna open up and bring it down just a little bit. I don't want you to go too far down, let's get started. So don't go too far down yet. The first thing I want you to do is really, again, focusing on those abs, 
squeeze them in, squeeze them in nice and tight, and that is going to allow you to come down further without that back coming off the ground. So let's try it now. Going down just a little bit further towards the ground. You've got this, all right? I'm telling you now, the harder that you work on every single breath, the more you're gonna get out of these exercises. So since you showed up, let's give it our all, and remember why you came here. Did you come here for a better waistline? Did you come here to get a mood boost? Did you come here to get motivated? We're here for all of it, okay? So just keep on going. And we have a rest, so I want you to hold it at a 45 degree angle. Again, focusing on squeezing those abs, and I'm gonna keep reminding you of this because it's going to help you get the best results out of every single exercise that we do today. So keep those palms facing up, and now we're just gonna take it on the inward circle. So if you before did inward circles while I was doing outward circles, just swap that motion, turn it around, and keep on going. So we just wanna activate everything. By now, your abs should be trembling. So if you did wanna make it even harder, where you're really, really gonna feel that burn, let's get those hands behind the head, those elbows are pointed out, and lift up through the chest, engaging those top abs too. Woo, yeah, you feel it, right? Okay, keep it going, keep breath it out, guys. After this, we're gonna come into a sit-up with a V-crunch, which again is gonna work those lower abs, which I know is one of the hardest areas to target, so we are really gonna target them so that you can get rid of that little bit of belly roll at the bottom, which I know took me forever to get rid of. Okay, let's keep going for three, two, one. Release that head, release those legs. What we're gonna do next is you are gonna have those feet planted on the floor, Tuck those abs in. You're gonna use some momentum from your arms to come up into a sit up. You're gonna lift your legs, crunch out, crunch in, drop the legs down, and sit back. Let's go. So up into that sit up, bring those legs up, crunch it in, crunch it out, drop those legs down, and back into that sit up. Now to modify this, you're gonna come up to that full sit up, lift those legs, put those hands behind you, crunch it in, crunch it out, put the legs back down, the arms come up, and you're going back down. You've got this. Keep Keep squeezing those abs, you're really working it. Just follow along. If you're doing, you know, if you're a little bit out of coordination here, because I know it does test the coordination a little bit, that's okay. Just keep your body moving and just let me keep going. And the more that you move your body, the better you're gonna feel by the end of this workout, right? Yes, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's do one more crunch in, drop those feet to the ground, and we are gonna come into a side plank position. Now bear with me for a second. What we're gonna do, you're gonna bend that top leg. You're gonna lift a leg out in front. That shoulder is in line with your hand. You're gonna give me one leg lift, turn it around, and a second leg lift on that other side. So for 40 seconds, let's get going. 40 seconds, just one time through. Try to do something like this. If you're moving, that's all I really want. Eventually, we'll figure this move out because I know it took me a couple tries to be like, all right, so where does my leg go? So just try, try to do some kind of variation of what I'm doing right now, and I'm still proud of you for trying. So keep lifting that leg up on the other side, and lifting up through those obliques. We're working those side abs right now. Again, this is an out of last and waistline trimmer routine. You are gonna feel this in the morning, I'm telling you. Don't hang out with any friends that are gonna make you laugh, because you're gonna want them to be quiet. <laughs> All right, give me one more on each side. Turn it around, last one. And you can release down to the floor. So that was probably the hardest exercise of our entire workout here. So let's just keep on going. We are already halfway through our workout. Come down to the ground. Bring those legs into the air. And instead of single leg drops, we're gonna scissor. So as one leg comes up, the other goes down. Let's do it. Again, 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 again. Crunching those abs in, squeezing everything in. Tuck those hips underneath. So you're really engaging that lower ab area. And if you want, to make this more challenging, we're gonna do what we did before. Let's get those hands behind the head. The elbows are out, you can't see the ends of them. And lift up through the chest. Oh yeah, I know you feel it. We're working it all right now. Woo! You're gonna go to the mirror after this and say, wow, okay, my abs are popping. So if you didn't like me before, you might change your mind and say, all right, I kinda like this girl. She's getting me results. Now, if you've just been watching videos that you follow the exercises and no one tells you the cues on how to do them, you're probably not getting the best results or as quick results as you could get. So that's why I'm doing this, to give you all of that information. All right, give me one more. And let's bring it down. So we're gonna go into one of my absolute favorites. Again, into that tabletop position. So lifting those legs up 90 degree angle here to make it easier to bring those legs in. Bring those arms out towards the side, lift up through the chest, using your abs, and circle those arms underneath, and come back down. Let's give it a go. So up, 
and back down, squeezing through those abs, kind of like a dance, right? We're like synchronized dancing here. You can do whatever you want with your arms at the top and just bring it in and back down to modify this further, drop those legs down and just slightly try to get those hands underneath of your knees here. All right, you're killing it right now. Bring those legs back up if you have them down. I want you to try for the last 10 seconds. Really try to squeeze those abs, getting the most out of every single rep. And if you get every rep 100% effort, you're going to get 100% results. All right, one more lift up. Hold for three, two, one, and come down. We are gonna take it into some eagle crunches now. So you're gonna bring both legs up into that tabletop, again, squeezing those abs in. You're gonna cross one leg over the other. Now, instead of crossing the arms over each other, I just want you to bring those elbows in next to each other, and we are gonna crunch in and back down. So it's a dual motion here, let's give it a try. So you're moving your legs as well as your arms. So those arms come down, those legs come down, and they come back up. You're touching that knee to the elbow. This is not an easy exercise. I'm plenty aware, but you're going to give it your all, and you're going to get results from it. So keep on going, guys. Keep pushing through. Push through that burn. Push through that pain. Every time you feel that burn, you want to go like two, three, four reps past it because that's when the results are happening. So if there's an exercise that you're dreading and you don't particularly like, well, that's probably the one that's going to get you those results. And then one more crunch in, bring it down, and we're going to switch to the other side. So bring those legs back up, get yourself ready. You can catch a little breath here. Bring whatever leg you didn't have over before, bring that over. Bring those elbows together. You can squeeze those hands together too. I find that it makes it a little bit easier to hold the balance here. And in three, two, one, crunch those elbows in towards the knees. Give your foot a little tap on the ground or as far as you can go down without that back lifting off the ground. This is really, really working the core, guys. This is probably, all right, I thought those leg lifts were actually the hardest one, but I'm changing my mind right now. This is a tricky exercise. Keep it going, squeeze, squeeze those abs, breathe, don't forget, and give me a smile. I know it hurts, push through, show me what you're made of. You're made of more than you think, you're capable of this. Let's go for five, four, three, two, last crunch in, and you can release it down. Good job, we have three exercises left. You can't leave the last three minutes, that's when the changes start happening, so grab a drink of water if you need it. And we're gonna take it into some alternating lawn mowers. So, easier version for this. You are gonna lift up through the chest. Again, sucking those abs in. Let's bring those arms out in front. You're gonna lift a knee and an elbow and do the same thing on the other side. All right, let's go. So, bring that knee in towards the elbow. Follow your eye line here. The more you follow your hand and where that's going, the further you're gonna be able to turn. So, if you wanna make this a little bit harder now, let's lift those feet up off the ground. Do it, come on, you can do it. You got it. Just give. Give it one try. Now, if you want to make this even more challenging, yes, you do. Why do we not want to make things harder for ourselves, right? Bring those legs, make them straight, and do that lawnmower. We've got 10 more seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one of the exercise. Awesome job. Now, give me just like a hey, I got it. Give yourself a clap, a pat on the back, You're right at the last two minutes. No, we're not done yet. Okay. So we're gonna come down onto our sides. Now you're gonna have your elbow in line with your shoulder here. Make sure those hips are right on top of each other. Bring that hand behind your head and we are going to twist in towards our elbow that's on the ground and back out. Are you ready? Let's do it. So nice and slow, lifting up through those obliques again. We're working those side abs here. Really focusing on that side ab line, that shadow that you get in the mirror. I know we love it. <laughs> It's my favorite thing to work towards, actually. So keep it going, we've got this. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I used to be 60 pounds heavier, and these are actually the exercises that I started with when I had serious acid reflux problems. Um, my weight was like out of control for, especially, I, I was in college, so you can imagine I had a lot of fast food. <laughs> I didn't know how to cook for myself yet. But um, yeah, these are the exercises I started with. My doctor was like, yeah, if you wanna solve this problem, you need to work out. All right, give me one more twist now. Back up, and we're gonna switch to the other side. For the final exercise of the routine, just stay with me, don't leave. What do you one side? You gotta do the other. Okay, let's come back up. You don't wanna have one side Hercules abs and the other one looking like just nothing's there, all right? It'll look kind of crazy. So bring that hand behind your head. Make sure those hips are on top of each other, that you're not leaning too far forward or back. 
Bring that elbow in towards the other elbow and back out. Nice and slow, controlled motion. I know this is tough. You've got it. Keep going. Don't give in. You've got 30 seconds left here. You can make it through 30 seconds. You just made it through 14 minutes. <laughs> There's no reason you can't. Let's go. Keep it up. You've got it. Squeeze those abs. Suck it in nice and tight for five, four, three, two, and last one. Just give me one more. You got one more in you. And you can release down to the ground. We're just going to take it into a quick stretch. So we're going to come down to your mat. Put, bring those hands underneath your armpits and lift up through the chest, pushing those palms into your mat. Great job, everybody. I know that was not the easiest ab exercise that we've done so far. Now, if you are a subscriber already, you know the drill. We've got our Monday, our Wednesday, and our Friday workouts. But if you are not, the reason you should join is because I'm going to give you the cues to get you the best results. Now, if you're someone that's really trying to lose weight and lose some of that extra, you know, the little tummy fat that we have down here, which by the way, all of us have skin, so don't be ashamed of skin and skin rolls. That's something you're not going to get rid of because it's natural, it's human. And the pictures you see on Instagram, often they're airbrushed for just the right position, so don't shame yourself for that. But anyways, if you are trying to tone up and lose weight, I'm telling you something now. You cannot spot treat fat. That is not a thing, it's not how it works, but you can target muscle areas. So as you lean up, as you get stronger, you're going to start to see those muscles come through. So you're gonna look lean, you're gonna look torn. But in order to do that, you need to gain muscle on every body part. So if you're gaining muscle in the arms, the legs, the abs, the butt, you're gonna start to burn more calories, which in the long term is gonna help you lose weight and look leaner and look slimmer and just look better, right? And I mean, we work on mindset here too, so it's not all about that. It's mindset and just trying to feel good about ourselves. So if you are not yet subscribed, you wanna follow the Monday, Wednesday, Friday workouts. You're gonna follow those for 30 days. You're gonna start to see those results and hopefully you'll just stick with it because that is how you're gonna stay in shape, how you're gonna lose weight, and I'm gonna help you with the cues to get better results from all of your workouts. So if you're just following some person that doesn't tell you what you're doing or how to do it, then you're probably not getting the best results that you could be getting. So definitely hit that subscribe button, uh, check out the other videos while you're here, like the video, comment below, tell me your thoughts, tell me who you are, where you're from. I'd love to know all of it. I'm Tiffany Quinn, and I will see you for the next video.